Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Sadly, it seems like the Christmas week hasn't started in the best way possible for the community. There is a new hack that allows users to steal from other players' inventories. Here's everything you need to know about the issue and on how to protect yourself. The news are spreading quickly and this is actually a good thing for a change. We need as much awareness as possible right now. Maybe then Bethesda will take core issues a bit more seriously and finally get an anti-cheat system for the game. For example, there are multiple posts on Reddit already and even NukaCrypt has a homepage message to warn people about this new hack. I've recently discussed the real state of Fallout 76 in another video and I went over many other issues, some related to hacking. Now, I don't know how much lower we can go from here. Hackers can steal from other players' inventories and take whatever they want in a snap, just like that. That's crazy scary and that's why you should avoid playing on public servers for a while, at least if you are on PC. My best recommendation here is to play in private servers, do Nuclear Winter or play other games for the time being. I don't think you want to lose your 3 stars legendary armor, weapons or rear outfits. At least I don't want to, that's why I'm staying away from public servers altogether. Anyway, there seems to be a lot of rumors and confusion around this new hack, so I decided to do some research and make a compilation of points that every Fallout 76 player should know at the moment. Let's jump into them. What's going on exactly? Well, hackers and cheaters can now use a new trick to basically access players' inventories and pickpock any items they want, including legendaries, untradeable items and even atomic shop items. The issue was massively shared a few days ago, but it seems like it is not a new thing. It was discovered a while ago. This new hack is extremely concerning though, it's probably the worst we ever had so far. Gladly, it is slowly getting covered by Fallout 76 creators and gaming media too. And that's great because, as I mentioned before, we need all the awareness we can get towards this issue, especially since it's holiday time and most of Bethesda's staff is on a break. The chances to get anything fixed right now are quite low, so the more attention we give to the problem, the higher will be the chances to get a fix as soon as possible. That's my best assumption here. There are some rumors that these hackers can only steal items from your inventory if you actively trade with them. But this is not true, far from it. You're not safe even if you don't trade with anyone. As data miner Chisato explained, you don't need to see or be in contact with other players. These hackers only need to be on the same server and somewhat close to you, about 200 meters radius from your location in order to access your inventory and take whatever they please. They can steal when they want and what they want in public servers. Sounds scary, right? That's why you need to understand how this hack works in order to protect yourself. Stay away from public servers. I will keep repeating this over and over for obvious reasons. The good news here about this entire situation is that this new hack doesn't allow people to steal currencies from you, which includes caps, script, nuclear winter tickets and even tadpole and possum badges. All your currencies are safe and they can be stolen for the time being. I can't say the same for everything else in your inventory though. So it's totally up to you to decide if you wish to play and take the risks of losing your best items that you've taken months to get. I surely know that I don't want to take any risks. Anyway, at least you know that some things are safe from being stolen, just like own currencies. Another point that seems to be confusing for some people is about the stash. Apparently, your stored items in the stash box and junk box are also inaccessible to hackers right now. Thanks, good lord. If you have space, I strongly recommend you to store all your best items in there if you really must play in public servers or use alts to store your best items there and go around naked with a normal legendary weapon. 
I mean, I'd do that if I had no other choice. It seems like the inventory is a separate calling part from the stash boxes, so it is a bit more difficult for them to access everything. This doesn't mean that in the future hackers won't find a way to steal from them as well. Hopefully that won't happen anytime soon. Now here's something very interesting that I have discovered. Did you know that stealing Pip boys was a thing, for hackers at least? The Sam hack seems to allow cheaters to steal Pip boys It is an entry on the inventory part and it is actually very scary because if a hacker decides to steal your Pip boy your character will be removed from the server and you will get kicked or disconnected from the server, I suppose. If you reload though, your character will be back according to data miners, but this is clearly a new way hackers have to annoy or even harass anyone they want. Just force them to disconnect from servers. Is there an end to all this hacking cheating? Really? I still can't believe there is no anti-cheat system announced. But hackers can simply steal from your inventory. They can also kill you without even engaging in combat. Yes, even if you have the pacifist mode enabled, it doesn't matter. They can enter a command that will immediately kill your character out of thin air, just like moderator or administrator commands in single player games. Well, don't be surprised if at some point your character just keeps dying out of the blue while playing on a public server. I'm not sure if you lose anything, probably your junk, it's the standard rule for dying to mobs at least, so that would make the most sense. Guess what? In Nuclear Winter there is also a new hack, which sounds just as bad as the ones mentioned so far. Hackers can now erase other players' inventories at any point in the match. In other words, they can choose to delete all the gathered items and force people to get naked and either hide, leave the match or fight with their bare hands. If they use other hacks, it's very easy for them to choose players to erase their inventories and clearly get the advantage. There's a lot of things they can do with this one. I'm kinda glad that it's the holiday season right now because I really don't feel like playing with so many hacks going on. I know I'm ranting at this point or venting, but it's just upsetting and so frustrating to see how all these hackers are taking over the game and just doing whatever they want, ruining all the fun for other people. It's worth mentioning that not all hackers intend to behave in a malicious way. I went through a few posts in a cheater's forum and I found a specific post where one of the hackers mentioned that he or she would be dropping some holiday gifts into people's inventories. I mean, that's way better than stealing people's belongings, right? I know that not all hackers and cheaters intend to harm other players, but in this case, this hack is specifically to do that, so it's a bit difficult to see a good side here. There will be people who will use it to do good deeds, of course, but I believe that the vast majority will use it to inflict harm and just create chaos. It is the main purpose of the hack to start with, so why should it surprise anyone? In the end, you know things are really bad when you see a hacker warning other hackers to stay away from public servers. That's when you know things are serious. It happened more than once, as you can clearly see in this post. I also saw that they are planning to release something else on the Christmas day. I can't imagine anything worse at this point, but I guess there is. The next level could be deleting characters from servers, like permanently or something alike. So yeah, if you don't want to lose something precious or of high value to you, don't risk it. Protect yourself and avoid public servers at all costs right now. I don't think that farming holiday gifts is worth the risk of losing your legendary armor set or your bloodied explosive weapons. Just saying. If you have a private server, don't think twice, play there at all times, and if you have a lot of people in your friend list, which you don't know very well, 
then you should probably change the options to Team Wally to be able to play alone or make a team with trusted friends before going into your private server. The alternative here is to join someone else with the private server. Even if you don't know the person, the chances to find a hacker there are way less than in a public server. That makes sense, I think. Unless you're hanging around shady people, that's a different story. Anyway, your third option here is Nuclear Winter. The Christmas rewards are live right now, so it's a great time to farm experience and claim all your limited rewards there. Hackers and cheaters cannot steal a public or private server inventory there, so you're completely safe playing Nuclear Winter. Means your items won't be able to be stolen while you are doing these modes. As a last resort, just do something else. Enjoy your time with your family and friends or play other games while the issue remains unresolved. What else can you do to protect yourself from these inventory hackers? Well, you can play with a low-level alt or an alt with poor gear, as in script material, things you really don't care about. So in case that hacking happens, you won't be upset about anything. You just lost some script material and that's it. Moving a lot from location to location, staying on semi-empty servers and server jumping every few minutes will also reduce your chances from getting inventory hacked. So you might want to keep these tips in mind if you really must play on a public server. I really, really don't advise you to do that right now. But hey, these might help. It won't guarantee your safety at 100%, as obvious, but it does help. Just a few ideas to increase your protection here. Regardless, the best choice is to stay away from adventure altogether. Just go to private, do nuclear winter, or play something else. Well, that's going to be everything for this video. I know it's more negative news, but the truth must be spoken. And in this case, we need all the awareness we can get towards this issue. It is very serious and many people are falling victims to these hacks at this very moment. It's important that players learn about what's going on to at least give them the chance to protect themselves, to give them a choice. That's the main reason that I created this video, to spread the word and prevent as much damage as possible. Let me tell you that my Christmas event is still running until December 29th, so go ahead and capture the essence of the holidays and submit your best screenshot to earn awesome prizes. Join my Discord for more details and to participate there as well. The link is down below the video, just like my Patreon page if you'd like to support my channel in other ways. If you're new here, then consider to subscribe to help me grow and don't forget to enable the notifications bell to get notified when I publish a new video. Thank you in advance. That's going to be all for now. I will see you guys very soon, hopefully. If not, a Merry Christmas to you all and thanks for your support. You guys are the best. Take care. Adios. Bye bye.